Hello my lovelies, welcome to Color Me Pink. Well my today's uh, video is my personal absolute favourite which is my look that I've done right now that is a fully blown out smoky eye with a nude lip. Alright guys, so let's get started. So uh, I've already applied my base to save some time because I just want to show you guys the eyes but I'm going to ba um, put bake my eyes a little bit just under my eyes. So this uh, powder will also catch any fallouts. Don't be scared, I'll be dusting this off. Alright, so guys, uh, this is my favorite type of smoky eyes. This literally takes five minutes when I do it at my own speed. But I'm going to do it a little slow so that you guys can follow through. It is um, the best form of smoky eyes. It's practically so easy that anybody and everybody can do it. But while you're wearing it, people are like, oh my god, she's a pro. So and now to start with, I'll be applying my Urban Decay Primer, Eye Primer. I don't know if you can see it. This is my favorite primer. Just in case you do not have a primer, I know there are a lot of people who you know, find these products expensive or they're not available in India. So what you can do is you can just apply your foundation and over the top of it you can apply any nude color uh, eyeshadow. That will work as your primer as well. This, what the primer does is guys, uh, it will make your found, uh, colors, eyeshadow colors pop. It will make it stay, it increases the longevity, it will make it stay for a longer time and also it will stop it from creasing. I mean, seriously, this is uh, eye primer is something that you really, really can never skip, okay? So, just take a little bit of primer and apply it all over your eyelids. Okay. And, uh, so, I've applied my primer and now I'll be applying any nude color eyeshadow. I'll, I'll be applying my Revlon eyeshadow, it's a nude, uh, nude color. Okay, so I'll be using a flat uh, brush. You can use any flat uh, flat brush, guys. I will not be asking you to, you know, there's a lot of people who tell me uh, I get so confused, Sigma brush, this brush, that brush. But for me, I want you to learn to do it with your own tools. So please use any, any flat brush, okay? And just apply it all over your eyelid. You do not have to be precise or anything. You just, because this is nude in color, okay? So I just want it all over your eyelid, right close to your eyebrow. So now I will uh, be taking my Naked palette from Urban Decay again. This is one of the best palettes that I own. Shadow. I will be taking a, the color Buck from my Naked palette. That's right here, it's a brown. So you can take any matte brown. So for my crease guys, normally I prefer a matte color. Reason being because... Uh, and this is a very ma uh, matte look, so as it is, I'll be using most of the matte colors, very, very little highlight colors. So I'm using this matte brown eyeshadow. So I'm, I'm going to open my eye and I'm going to look for my crease. Here is my crease. And I'm going to take this eyeshadow in my crease. Can you see that? This is at least two to two, three tones darker than my real skin tone. So you can take any matte eyeshadow, brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using this as my transition color. And just in the windscreen motion, just make sure you blend it thoroughly. This is my favorite, favorite brush for blending. This is from Color Bar. And uh, I don't know if any other brush you own, you must own one. This brush for sure. If you want to really learn blending because um, this just blends like a dream honestly so I'll just see I'll be just taking this and taking it over where I place my color and this will blend so beautifully it's unreal so again I pick up some color I tap off the excess again open my eye I find my crease and I just take the color over there okay so can you see that line forming over there now with brown and this has to be a very this is a very blown out smoky look okay so you have to blend a lot. That's the only only uh, trick to any of the smoky eyes is that you really have to blend. So be ready to blend, blend, blend. So blend. I'm done with this and I'm going to go back with my color bar brush. And I'm going to blend more. Okay. So that is done. I'm going to do the same thing to my other eye. So now is the fun part. Just take any black gel liner. What I'm using over here is a um, Krylon Black Cream Liner. 
this is something like a gel liner it's just a little more smooth you can use any any gel liner any gel black gel liner it could be l'oreal mac whatever you like so for right now i'm using this and i'm gonna be applying this with my urban decay brush any flat brush again so i'm just gonna be applying this gel liner all over my eyelid okay so watch carefully guys So don't worry about it being messy, we're just going to be blending it in a bit. What you have to do, keep in mind, is that you have to work your hand a little bit faster when it comes to this because the gel liner tends to dry up, dry up uh, quickly. And I'm going to start blending it now. So I'm going to be taking my black eyeshadow. It's uh, the name is Creep from Urban Decay. Again, you can use any matte black eyeshadow or a glitter eyeshadow. This has a little bit of glitter in it, but I'm not too concerned about it because it does not come out that uh, harsh or nice. Again, just put it, uh, pack it on your uh, where you've applied your gel, gel liner. And then again, I'm going to go back with my blending brush. I'm just going to give it a final blend. Again, if you feel that you want to deepen the transition color, that is your brown shade. You can pick up some more brown shade, tap it off, and then take it on the trees. Taking a small brush, and I will be highlighting. Today, I will be again using a half baked eyeshadow, golden color eyeshadow, from again my naked palette. And I'm gonna be taking it in the highest point of, of my eyebrow. Just to add in a little bit of shimmer, right? And if gone wrong, this eye look, it can look as if somebody punched you in the face. So please, please, please make sure you're blending well. You're uh, using a controlled hand and you're blending your colors. Again, with a clean brush, again, I'm trying to merge the golden. Also, I'll be taking the same golden color in the inner corners of my eye, just like that. in the tear duct area just to you know open up the eye so i will be tight lining my eye now with a black cordial i'm using a black cordial from faces canada and you can use any black cordial and i'm going to take that liner in my waterline as well I'm going to be taking a black color, the same black that I use on my eyes but mixed with a little bit of the same matte brown eyeshadow and I'm going to take it in my lower line, just below my waterline. And I'm going to place the color there. Guys and last but not the least is the mascara. What I'm going to be using right now is the L'Oreal or L'Oreal Paris False Lash Architect. This is by far my favorite mascara and this is a waterproof uh, mascara, it gives you really really nice false eyelash effect. So I'm not the kind of person who likes to apply false eyelashes on a daily basis and even if this is a very smoked out look, I will still not be using a false eyelashes today because I want that uh, you guys should be able to do this look without the false eyelashes and I don't see the need to apply the false eyelashes every time but if you want to further dramatize or complete the look you can definitely go in for the false eyelashes so this is I'm gonna be applying this mascara this will open up my eyes it's gonna make my eyelashes look very beautiful and I'll be I'll be completing the other one off camera so see you in a bit guys so guys when you uh, when your both the eyes are done it should look something like this Now I will be applying my blush and my bronzer. So I'll be starting off with the bronzer. What I'm using here is uh, my Body Shop bronzer. 
Again, you can use any angular brush or a blush brush that you like and you can apply a bronzer. With this look, it has to be a little bronzy because uh, it's a little bit dramatic on the eyes. So I'm just trying to take it below my jawline to give it some shade. So if you guys want to see a detailed video on how to apply the bronzers and your blushes, I shall. Let me know, I will make one for you. But I'm just going to take some on my forehead. Now finally, I will be adding on some highlights. This is my favorite highlighting palette. This is a Bridal Glow Glamour Glow palette by Krylon. So I'll be adding a little highlight on the bridge of my nose over here. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the tip. Just my T zone on my cupid score and on my chip. And a little bit of glow on my under my eyes. And the last part is your Lipper. So I will be applying a nude lipstick and uh, it's completely your choice if you're going for an evening out and if you really think that you can carry a bold lip then please go ahead and apply a nice hot red lipper but for today I will, I will be using a nude lipper. nude lipper. For this look I applied my Max Factor nude lipstick uh, along with a nude lip gloss from Revlon. If you did like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know what other videos I can make for you. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.